Hi everyone, today we're looking at the PowerKiddy X28 and what to do if the X28 you purchased arrives as a Asian unit without the Google Play Store or any of the Google web service installed. Thankfully, PowerKiddy had supplied their original firmware files and the means to be able to refresh the PowerKiddy X28. So that's what we're aiming to run through today. I saw a couple of posts that this has come up in the rec uh, community recently, so I thought it'd be worth doing a how-to video to run through the whole process. You'll immediately know if your PowerKiddy X28 is a non-Play Store enabled unit, as the Play Store won't be present under the app tile, and chances are it will default to Chinese when turned on. As always, when you're attempting to flash firmware though, there is every chance of something going wrong and the risk of bricking your X28 if anything goes wrong throughout the flashing process. So my biggest suggestion is to be as prepared as possible and do not attempt a refresh if you're not sure about anything in the process. Make sure that your X28 is fully charged before attempting a refresh. Make sure it's turned off and ensure you've fully downloaded all of the firmware files. So our first step is to download the Google Store enabled firmware for the PowerKiddy X28. To do this, head over to PowerKiddy's website at powerkiddy.com, navigate to the new section. From there, find the PowerKiddy X28 firmware post, which at the time of recording is dated May 17th, and click into that post. Once you're in the post, you'll see the link to the PowerKiddy X28, which currently sits under a OneDrive shared folder. Download these files and extract them to a folder on your computer. Our second step is to install the relevant drivers to enable the flashing software to connect to the X28 successfully. The easiest way to do this is to first install the version of the BTools program that is included in the tools folder of the firmware download, and then navigate to the folder you installed BTools to. In there, you'll see a drivers folder, which will contain three driver folders with separate installers within each. If you're unsure which drivers you could be missing, you can run in the installer in each driver folder and restart your computer. So once you've downloaded the firmware and installed the relevant drivers, it's time to reflash the firmware on the PowerKiddy X28. As a reminder, there is always a chance of bricking your X28 when reflashing. So if you've got any doubts or concerns, just don't risk it. Ensure your PowerKiddy X28 is fully charged, any microSD is fully removed, and it's fully turned off as well as making sure you've got a USB-C to USB-A cable to hand before proceeding. The including program that does the reflash is called BTools, and once you try and open it for the first time, you're greeted with a login screen. We'll want to choose the offline option and make sure that we click on open reg code file. From here, navigate to where you've extracted the firmware and into the tools folder. Select the key that should end in underscore 240t2.key and click open. From that, click on OK, and that will load into BTools proper. From here, you do want to open the scatter loading file, uh, uh, navigating to the root where you've extracted the PowerKiddy X28 firmware, jump into the firmware folder itself, and from there, click into the subfolder and on the XML file inside this subfolder. This will populate the file list, and we are then able to click download, ready to plug the X28 into our computer. We will know it's ready by the status message, please insert USB cable now from BTools. But before we do anything, we'll want to ensure the PowerKiddy X28 is in a fully turned off state. Then we'll want to make sure we are holding down the volume down button as we plug in the USB into our X28. Moments after we plug in the USB cable into the X28 while holding down the volume down button, the firmware flashing process will start and we can let go of the volume down button. The flashing process itself will take a good few minutes, so we want to ensure the PowerKiddy X28 or computer won't be disturbed or interrupted at all during the flashing process. It will skip through some of the flashing parts really quickly, while others will take a good few minutes. Either way, we'll have a status message pop up at the very end of the process, so you'll know for sure when it has been completed, at which point you're able to click OK and disconnect the PowerKiddy X28 from your computer. So after high-fiving yourself after a successful reflash, you'll notice the first boot of the PowerKiddy X28 after a reflash will take a good few minutes to boot up. This is completely normal and will resume to quicker booting afterwards. You're then greeted with a setup process where you're able to connect your Google account, connect to Wi-Fi and so on before jumping back into the PowerKiddy X28 home screen. So you'll see that the English firmware has been fully installed, the X28 will boot straight into English, and the Play Store and other apps will appear under the My Apps section. So that's it for now. I hope this how-to video was useful. Thank you for PowerKiddy for supplying the firmware, and thanks so much for watching.